Hi guys, so today I'm making my version of lasagna and I was asked to share. So I'll just run through the ingredients I have. I have a small packet of minced beef, this does my family. Um, to make my basic red sauce I have a tin of chopped tomatoes, I have some Italian seasoning, I have a tin of sliced mushrooms, this is what I have in, fresh mushrooms obviously are better, what I have in so that's what I'm using. I have a green bell pepper, I have two cloves of garlic, we like garlic, and an onion, but you can pretty much add any veggies and stuff like that that you want in your bolognese sauce. As for my cheese sauce, I have some marge and some flour that I'm going to use to make my roux. I'm going to add my milk to make my white sauce, and I'm going to add some cheese to make it cheesy. And I have my lasagna sheets. I then have a Pyrex dish to layer it up, and I have my cheese grater obviously grate my cheese so over here I have a pan with some olive oil and I'm gonna start frying up my minced beef and my onion and I have another pan that I'm gonna make my cheese with. Okay, so my cheese sauce is done and I'm just going to turn off the heat and allow it to cool down and it will set and be much firmer once it's set. At this point I'm going to taste my bolognese sauce and add some salt and pepper for seasoning but that's to taste. So I'm going to add a little salt and pepper. I'm also going to add some tomato puree just to give it a bit more of a tomatoey taste. And stir that in. What I find is allowing it to cool until it sets slightly um, helps it stay in layers when you cook it. If you try and cook it from being boiling hot, it, it tends to go sloppy and it tends to sink a lot more than if you allow it to cool ever so slightly um, and let everything thicken up. So I'm going to take these completely off heat and allow it to cool for around 10-15 minutes. So I've allowed it to cool and I've put half of the bolognese in the bottom of my Pyrex dish. The other half is still in the pan and I have my cheese sauce. I'm now going to work on my layers. I think everyone does this differently. The way I do it is... I put a layer of bolognese sauce, then I use my dry pasta sheets and do a layer of fat. I then put half my white sauce on top. It's looking like that. I then put another layer of pasta sheets. And any gaps, I just break them.
I then put the rest of my bolognese. Have a layer of pasta. Put the remainder of my cheese sauce on top. And then I finish off with cheese. So I'm going to now put this in the oven at 180 electric. That's around gas mark four to five. So slightly lower than I ordinarily cook anything else. Um, I'm going to put it in the oven for an hour until the top is crispy and golden. And then I'm just going to turn the oven off and let it sit in the oven, allowed to cool slightly. And again, that will firm it back up before I cut into it. So here's what my lasagna looks like fresh out of the oven. I'm actually going to just leave it in the oven until I'm ready to dish up later and then it will stay into nice squares and then if I need to I can just heat it back up in the microwave. It's just what I find easiest. <laughs> 